Hi everyone, welcome to the Knit Shift episode 76. My name is Laura and today is Monday, December 5th, 2016. Thank you so much for joining me today. I know this is a busy time of year for a lot of people and I really, really appreciate you choosing to spend a little bit of your day with me today. Thank you for watching, whether you are a new or returning viewer. I hope you like what you see. This is my podcast about knitting and yarn and knitting and yarn and life in Southeast Virginia with a dog and a boyfriend and a job in the journalism field and a lot of yarn, if I haven't mentioned that already. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Um, it's been starting, starting to feel Christmassy around here, if only in decorations. Josh and I put up our tree. Uh, it's not cold, not especially cold here. Temperatures are still in the 40s. And um, yeah, we're just, we just decorated last night. So directly behind the camera, I can see the tree in all of its glory. Show notes can be found at theknitshift.com. This episode is available on iTunes and YouTube, and I would absolutely love it if you subscribed in either location. I'm on Instagram as Laura Mahulski. I'm on Ravelry as Yarnstormer, and we do have a group for the podcast on Ravelry. If you go to the groups tab and search for the Knit Shift, you will find us. And I will ha have a giveaway coming later in the episode for members of that group. So please do um, head on over to Ravelry and join us in the Knit Shift group. Gracie has a new collar, and she has a new tag with her name on it. Um, I got it at PetSmart, and I put our phone number on it, so um, her old one was getting pretty worn out. Anyway, Gracie's great. I'm great. Couple weeks till Christmas, less than three weeks till Christmas. I hope no one's feeling really stressed about it. Um, it's just, let's, let's all enjoy our families and enjoy the little things and not freak out if things aren't perfect because life's too short for that, you know? I can't keep Gracie here the whole time. She'll, she'll be a distraction. Gracie, say hi. Can you say hi? What do you think about being on the podcast? Do you want your own podcast? Yeah. Gracie's would be all about napping and eating T-R-E-A-T-S, especially those that are the color G-R-E-E-N, because that is her favorite brand of treats, G-R-E-E-N-I-E-S. Huh, yeah, you hear me saying the T word. Gracie went for her annual vet visit a couple weeks ago. The vet told us that she could use, stand to gain a few pounds. She's a little thin for her size, so Gracie has been getting all of the T-R-E-A-T-S. Yeah, you heard your name again. Let's get to it, shall we? I have a finished object and a couple works in progress to share with you this week. I have one work in progress to share with you this week. I'm sorry, I have one finished object to share with you this week. Really, Grace? You should look uh, put upon. You're in the way. I know, the indignities you su suffer as my pet. You have such a hard life here, Bubba. Yeah. I have one finished object to share with you. Gracie's going to apparently help me show you. These are a pair of socks for my niece, who is due in March. These are Cincinnati Bengals colors. My sister-in-law is a huge Cincinnati fan. And this is Biscote yarn, in so obviously it's self-striping. Or self, yeah, self-striping. I don't know the colorway name, as this was a scrap I picked up at the store in Montreal, where uh, it's the namesake Biscote store. So they had scraps, and this was like a 30 gram ball that I just picked up, paid by, paid by the gram. So um, I'm really pleased with these. It's a merino nylon blend. I knit these on a size one needle, and I did a fish lips kiss heel and two by two ribbing. Um, I knit them toe up and ended with a Jenny surprisingly stretchy bind off. And this is my 14th pair of the year, if you can believe that, um, between adult and baby socks. I have two works in progress to share with you. The first I'm keeping in this beautiful, beautiful bag from Marsha, a podcast viewer. And this is a project you saw last week. This is a, a little dress or vest for my niece. This is the, this is by Tora Fro Froseth. And it's little, it's called Little Sister's Dress. And here is my niece's little vest. 
Last week I was right about here or so. I'm not trying to give you guys the bird. Uh, that's just right about where I was, and I don't have a stitch marker to, to show the progress. And so I've made quite a bit of progress this week, and I'm hoping to finish it in the next few days. This is going to be a baby shower gift for my sister-in-law. I'm going to Ohio, where they live in January, and um, this will be one of my, my gifts for the baby shower. This is Madeline Tosh BFL Sock in the colorway The Mind Creative. I have this much left probably 35 or 40 grams so I feel pretty good about you know making this as long as I want to um, it'll probably be more of a vest or a tunic length versus an actual dress but I'm okay with that I'm knitting the six month size but I used a, a bigger needle than was called for I used a size 3 which is a 3.25 millimeter and I'm I feel like this is closer to the size for nine months or probably even a year this neckline you can see it's kind of open right here and I will be crocheting some button and button holes or button enclosures and attaching buttons so to help fit over the baby's head so yeah it's a hundred percent BFL sock it's super duper soft um, here's the tag I picked this up at the Mad Tosh flagship store in Fort Worth Texas before it closed a year ago I don't think BFL sock is one of their more common bases. It's 420 yards, very, very soft. Um, I think it's absolutely perfect for a baby sweater. And this pattern is so easy. If you've never knit a baby knit before, I would highly recommend this. It's, it's so simple. And now that I'm on the stockinette portion, it's just flying. I will say, because I'm knitting a bigger size, the pattern has you do increases under each armhole, one on each side, so right here and then right there, and the same on the other side. I'm not making this as wide as called for, mostly because I was a little worried with only one skein of yarn, I didn't want to run out of yarn. So I'm hoping that the overall large size will help, even though it's not as bell-shaped as called for, if that makes sense. So yeah, this is really what I've been knitting on almost exclusively in the past week. Um, I finished those baby socks I just showed you. I finished those right after I filmed last week and um, really went to town on that little vest. And my next work in progress to share with you is a sock. I'm carrying this around in a Mrs. Brown's bag. And I spoke last week about wanting to cast on a pair of Christmas socks for myself, and I have. This is Lang Jawool yarn. I don't have the tag with me, but it's Lang Jawool Action, A-K-T-I-O-N, since it's German, I suppose. And this it's this lovely burgundy and green yarn with bits that are lighter than others. And it's not really self-striping, it's just variegated but I'm really loving how it's working up. I'm knitting these on a size one needle, which is a 2.25 millimeter. Um, unless I say otherwise, I'm usually, I'm knitting on a Chiaogu needle. Um, I really love those so much. And I, I cast this on soon after filming, um, probably knit all of this in a day and then kind of set it aside in favor of the baby vest because I'm trying to face the reality of needing to finish that within the next month so I'd like to focus on that even if it, even if it means I don't finish my Christmas socks before the holiday I'm okay with that so it's my general toe up cast on I think this is a 68 stitch sock which is larger than average but that's generally what's been fitting my foot best of all and I'm really happy with this I'm it's funny because I Learn to knit socks cuff down one at a time. And then I learned to do socks toe up. I took a class with Wendy Johnson of the Wendy Knits blog and it kind of changed my life because I have big feet. I really liked knitting toe up. I learned how to knit toe up. Then I learned magic loop. Then I learned how to knit two at a time. And that really changed my life. But lately I've kind of gone back to knitting one sock at a time. I don't know why I think it's easier to manage as an on-the-go project. I think 
it feels faster in the moment, though not overall, if that makes sense. You know, when you're knitting two at a time, you feel like you never see any progress because you're knitting, in essence, you're knitting both feet at the same time. And, um, you know, whereas with one sock, you can see, oh, I knit like three inches today. That's, that's amazing. But I am loving the immediacy of knitting one sock. And knock wood, I've never been one who suffers from second sock syndrome. So, uh, that really isn't too much of an issue with me. If I if I did suffer from second sock syndrome, I would probably be better about knitting two at a time. And that's it for my works in progress this week, you guys. Life's been pretty good lately. Josh and I put up the tree last night. We listened to music and then watched National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation for a little while as we decorated. We have my advent calendar up. We have our stockings up. It's just really nice to have everything up. Last year, we ended up traveling a lot before Christmas. We took something like three trips in two and a half weeks, um, one to Texas for a few days, one to Richmond, and then to Pennsylvania for my brother's college master's degree graduation. So it was, it was a little crazy uh, last Christmas. So I'm happy to be home a bit more this year. Uh, the past week has been good at work. Nothing really exciting to talk about there. Mostly I've just been keeping my head down, going to the gym, knitting, working hard, all the usual boring stuff. I do want to talk about a giveaway I wanted to do before Christmas. When I was at SAF um, in October with my friends, SAF is the Southeastern Animal Fiber Fair. It's in North Carolina. We uh, visited Twist Fiber Studio and uh, I visited there the year before. I bought some sock yarn that I really loved. I just knitted up in socks for a Christmas gift. Uh, she, Ashley the Dyer, uh, gave me a prize for the podcast, which was really lovely. So I thought about how to, how to give it to you guys, whether I should save it for a knit along. But I thought, you know what? It's Christmas. In the spirit of giving, I would love to give this to one of you around the holidays. So this is her Sparkle Gradient Mini Skein set. It's about 420 yards, I'm sorry, 438 yards total. Each of these minis, each of these five minis is 20 grams. So you could knit a beautiful pair of socks because it is merino nylon, 75% superwash merino, 20% nylon, 5% Stellina. You could knit socks, you could knit a beautiful shawl out of this. So I will put up a thread in the Ravelry group and I don't know what the prompt will be yet, but it'll be there. And if you answer the question and you're a member of the group, I will have a drawing for this and try to get it out to you right around Christmas. It might not be there. I'll try and get it to you the week between Christmas and New Year's. How about that? Um, and that way you get a little little gift for me around the holidays as a just a very small thank you for for watching. I will say I did do a little Vlogmas episode this weekend. I'm not as dedicated to it as some podcasters who are filming every single day, uh, but I decided to do a little filming when Josh and I were taking Gracie for a walk this weekend, and it was a beautiful day, and I just put, put a quick episode together for you guys, so I hope you enjoyed that. And if you haven't seen it yet, you can go to my YouTube channel and check it out. It's not available on, on iTunes, and I'm hoping to do at least one a week. Um, beyond the regular podcast episode for you guys. So I know I've been enjoying watching other podcasters vlog miss episodes and I would love to perhaps offer you the same. Well with all of that said I think it might be time to say farewell for this week. It's a pretty pretty slow week. Pretty small week knitting wise but you know that happens sometimes around the holidays. So on behalf of Gracie and myself I'd like to wish you a wonderful week of knitting and peacefulness and not too much holiday stress. And Gracie and I will see you soon, okay? Bye!